Let us begin with the recap of the murderous events of last uh, fortnight. Who would like to give a quick recap as we uh, set ourselves, steal ourselves as dawn breaks over the mists and starts to push through the fog um, as you all have arisen to a new day, one of interest and intrigue. It's all very sad. It is. I'm afraid Starfire is going to be very sad and not speak. She's going to go to find a mountain to meditate on and try and figure out how she was tricked. I have a theory. Oh, do you? I have a theory that because he warned us, the... Um, the bride of Strahd who was planning on dropping in on us took her revenge on him. Anastasia. By setting him up. Mm, I think she set him up. I think she deliberately did it from the start. That's why she told him. Mm. That's my thing too. Um, yeah. The question is whether they've set us all up because if he was already a vampire... Are they going to say we broke the truce? Well, we couldn't find... You guys couldn't see teeth, whereas I saw teeth of whatever was, you know, attacking me. So does that mean that they have these... Um, I keep wanting to say polyjuice potion, but it's not. Duncan, in d d is it... Polymorph. Is it polymorph? Yeah. It's polymorph, right? Yeah, it changed yeah. shape, yeah. Yeah, polymorph. I don't know why polyjuice. Poly Harry Potter in the head. <laughs> Excellent. Sounds good. Let's go write it up right now. <laughs> Painting that shit. We got some polyjuice down here right now. Yeah. No. Sorry, polymorph. So I'm wondering whether they have a spell or an amulet or something that allows, like Anastasia has something that allows her to polymorph. And maybe it was Cage that I saw, but then, yeah. I don't know. It was all very strange. Maybe we just ask Strahd in the morning and go, can you guys actually polymorph? Is that a skill you're willing to tell us about? <laughs> probably wouldn't because then that would expose him as probably stealing everything from Father so-and-so's, the bones from the church to, you know, our good friend, what's his name? Lord Vasily, mm -hmm. you know, because if they can change shape, then we're screwed because they could have been anybody through the campaign. So that would be really bad. And, in fact, was Cage actually really Cage? Was Cage really Cage and... If he was really Cage, how bitten was he really? Because we only superficially checked him, I think, before. Yeah, vampire or werewolf, though. And um, actually, that was something I wanted to roll for. Sorry, I'm actually trying to do my waitress order as we speak um, and get food dropped off tomorrow. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Important. <laughs> Very important. That doesn't need to be getting away if you're... Um... <laughs> my waitress order. <laughs> <laughs> Food delivery, very important. Um, Cage was just an asshole. He's gone and he's going to get an arrow in him when I next see him. Well, he's gone anyway if it is really Cage. Oh, that's what I wanted to do, Dunk. Sorry. Um, in terms of... It's wisdom. Wisdom, right? It's in terms of can werewolves be killed by just being staked through the heart? And not shot with silver or anything like that. Uh, are you meta gaming or are you who are you asking? No, no, about this? asking. I'm asking what my character knows. That's why I'm saying, is it a wisdom? Is it a wisdom throw then that I need to check? What is it? History? No, history, intelligence, maybe. It's just in terms of whether it's cage for a start, yeah. and I'm trying to have a look. 
because Cage got bitten by a werewolf, right, and his eye cleared up and all that kind of stuff. That is correct. Yeah, can he actually be killed by being staked through the heart, or does it have to be like a silver bullet or something else in this game? It's that kind of stuff. I don't know what kills werewolves in this game. <laughs> well, you're going to have to <laughs> somehow find out, aren't you? I'm not going to be telling you. That sounds like well, meta. Why... Sounds like uh, pretty meta gaming to me there, young Maria. Uh, not meta gaming. I'm just trying to play it right by saying, what do I roll to see if my character knows what will kill werewolves in Barovia? Or at least been to Barovia before we wandered through the mist together, you know, shit. I know, I know. Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe you picked up some stuff somewhere. If, if not... You, if, you want to be sure, I am if you want to be sure, I think we should cut his head off before, <laughs> before we throw him in the angry cup and throw him down the elevator shaft. Well, because if we're not sure it's Cage, and it might be something that can survive a stake, like if, it's a, if it is Cage the werewolf, should we pull the stake out and then just see if he heals? Because maybe he'll come back to life. Well, you left him. Do... You've left him. Um... Oh, hang on! Didn't you roll? Didn't you put him in the rug? No, not yet. No, That's he's what still we were in the bed. About. Yeah, he's still in the bed. That's what I thought. Still in the yeah. bed. Yeah. More for cutting That's why I'm head trying head to figure out. Cutting his head off. Look at it. All right. I think while we stand around trying to figure out if it's Cage, I'll pull the stake out of his chest. So you're going to go back into the room? I'm going to go back into the room. All right, off you go then. Um, sorry, I've got so many screens open because I'm working on my assignment. Um, dun, dun, dun. Bear with me. Back, 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 back into the room. Right. Is he still lying on the bed? Okay, so cut scene there. What are you doing, Nikki and Bernard? And what's Ia doing? And Irina? Irina's staying with me. Mm -hmm. um, and we are looking at a way to try to pat that little elevator shaft down so it's not so obvious that it came blasting up at high power. All right. Or actually, we, we actually looked down into it, didn't we? And found, we, we saw the cage. Correct. We found the way in. We went through the secret door and saw it. In yeah. The, so we you saw it come past us when I pulled the lever. out. But, yeah. Are you still in there? Did you go into it, Fisk? Um, at that point, no. That was what we were in. The, it was like a service area. Maybe I'll wait until we decide what to do with Cage before we um, rehide the whole thing. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Listen at okay, the so you guys and... are busy um, doing all that. Uh, just give me two secs. Let's just freeze there. Yeah, so can I just confirm um, that when you did roll the, uh, or did try and move the rug and you saw that four foot trap door, you were looking mm -hmm. down, so you were on top yeah. of the shaft, nothing went past you? No, sorry, I, I was confusing it with the yeah, yeah, so the one sure. that went past you was um, in the bottom, you know, in the sort of ground floor or where, right. where you were uh, exploring earlier in, in the evening. Now that a dawn has broken, um, there's uh, like an eerie stillness throughout the castle, and uh, you uh, you know that uh, you have safe passage here until the black carriage will um, arrive just on dusk, um, where you'll be farewelled and sent on your way. Of course, unless you break the truce. Okay. Um,
Of so, um, Nikki. Yes. So, uh, you and Arena uh, are examining stuff there. Fisk as well. Ears over there as well. Um, and I think you all remember that uh, you made arrangements to meet Esmeralda again, didn't you? We we do, did remember that. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> that was high on our list mm. when. Uh, uh, waiting until Dawn came because we were up before Dawn. Yes. Remember. Right? Yes, um, up, up dealing with the cage incident. Now, Starfire has gone back into the chamber and the door has closed behind her. So, Cage's body is in the bed. What do you want to do? Give me an investigation. Okay. Uh-huh. Doesn't seem, there doesn't seem to be anything that you missed. His body's there, surprisingly to you. He's still under the bed sheet and the stake uh, pulls out. There's a lot of blood, um, but he is, um, he's certainly deceased. It definitely looks like Cage, except with a great hole in his chest. Did you want to check anything, or like, yeah, you know, look look at his body anywhere, or? Um, I am going to, now that I'm trying to get over the grief and the pain that I've been through, I'm going to try and find out what I can tell. Where? All right, give me a medicine check. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Medicine check, yeah. <laughs> so, um, everything seems... Everything... Everything seems normal. Although, as you get up towards um, the top of his body... Um, and you open up, you do notice still that there are these two very small but sort of... It's almost like someone's just chiseled some fangs. They're like baby fangs, so to speak. They're not as pronounced as you'd seen on Strad earlier on in last yesterday evening. But it certainly does look like he had some sort of fang to you. Do you want to touch them? To see how sharp they are? Once they call, you can go back. They've both buggered off. <laughs> Where have they gone? <laughs> Bernard, how are you? You're back in Sydney, I assume? Back in uh, COVID Central? Oh, really? What for? Did you have to have one, or...? So she went to Bondi Junction, which is where the current COVID case had gone for... But yeah. we were well outside of all the hours. Still get a COVID test, yeah. All right, so Maria reappears at the door. The door opens. This is me calling out. Mm -hmm. Okay, do they hear me? Well, tell them what you do. I'm like, Wolfrule, I need you to check something. There is something still strange on this body, and I need a 
second. I need somebody to look at this for me. Okay. I see that I may be under some spell, but I'll I need go. somebody to check. I'll go and have a look. I'm going to say to Ia, though, Ia, keep a really close eye on Irina. Like, be nice. Try to be nice. <laughs> Just make sure she doesn't wander away. Where's Where's Maddie when you need her? Hey? To be I know. nice. Yeah. You know she'll just let her go. Okay, so um, what's the plan, Stan? What did you find? Beg your pardon? I tell Wolf Rule that to me it looks like Cage has baby fangs. So I need someone to double check that I'm not under some spell that just starts to see fangs everywhere and I go mad and start stabbing everybody. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, so um, Wolfrule, do you go in with Starfire or Starfire, are you going in with her? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I'm going to show her. I'm going to pull it back so that we're both looking at it at the same time. Okay. Is he still all staked out in there? Like, no change? So what you do notice is the stake's been removed. Um, and, you know, there's a gaping hole through the sheet into his chest. Um, the sheet's also been sort of ruffled, and it's not its not how it was. It's not quite on him. Um, it's as if, you know, the sheet's been repositioned, and so, like, the hole in the sheet doesn't match the hole in the chest. Um, and so, anyway, um, yeah, Starfire stands there and sort of pulls back some of his his um, lip to show you his teeth. Show you. And I have a look. Investigation check. Yeah, so nice. what you do notice is that his teeth are quite, you know, sort of grossy. Um, you know, clearly toothbrushes aren't something that's uh, high on the agenda so there's a lot of plaque um he's missing one or two of his backward back teeth you know sort of um back back you know sort of three or four back um one on the bottom one up the top um but it looks like that's been missing for ages you know it's all healed over and it's just like gaps um but yeah other than that everything looks reasonably normal mm-hmm. so when I... you don't see anything that looks like a fang can you point out where you thought you saw them? Can you still yep. see them there, Starfire? Yep, I've just rolled another investigation yep. dunk to see if I can see the baby you, fangs. You and can sort of, I see you them? You seem a little confused. That you're looking closer now and you just wonder whether you actually did see baby fangs or maybe you just miss it. Yeah, like we all had these little ones, you know, out here. Maybe you just yeah. misunderstood. Yeah. Maybe, but everything, when you're looking now, it all looks kind of normal. Can I, um, while I'm looking at him, can I have a good look at his staking yeah. wound and see how that Yeah, give me looks. a medicine. Sure. Can yeah, I do a, a medicine, medicine check? Medicine? Yeah, so you can see that the stakes penetrated the chest, split the sternum. Um, well, it's not the sternum, the, uh, the ribs, um, joining the sternum so the sternum's intact but two of the ribs have been broken away as the stake's been pushed in it's centered directly into his heart and you can make out the organ is torn um you can see you know you can see a chamber there so there's still a pool of blood in the sort of you know ventricle area so um yeah it looks pretty much like he had a massive uh, wooden stake thrust into his chest and pulled out so nothing I'd normally be able to heal. Oh, no, you're definitely not healing him. Something. No, no, there's no healing happening here. Is it dawn okay. now? I beg your pardon. Is it dawn? Yes, yeah, it is dawn now. Um, okay. Yeah. I'll just let the others know I'm going to go down stairs to... Um, to see Irina says, uh, I think we should all stay together. I'll be back. You'll be okay. Because I really think we should stay together. Like, uh, things have gone really weird just lately. Like, you've just killed that guy, like, Kate. He's like, one of you, you know? It's not from here. Yeah, he was. He was an asshole. Um, 
I'll be back. <laughs> Ia, Ia moves close to Irina and, and says, um, I really don't think we should split up at the moment. It's really not the thing to do. Go, I'll go, I'll call, and she opens the door and she calls out, Wolfrol, Starfight, Fisk is going to go downstairs. Um, okay. Okay. Um, why don't... Why don't you cut to come and join us while he does that? Yeah, let's all sit in the parlour. And look at Cage. Do you think we should put this stake back into his chest before we do anything so else? Here comes in and Irina... I, I can't see any evidence of fangs, but I'm still alert to the fact that he's probably... A high risk still. I ask Wolfrel what she knows about werewolf law. Given he was bitten and healed, does she think it Where is likely? Yeah, werewolf law. <laughs> Lycanthrope law. As a druid, does she think that he may come back from this? <laughs> uh. Do you want me to roll anything before no, I answer you that question, answer Duncan? What do you think? Uh, well, I, I, I don't know. I think, um, I think we're into strange territory here, where he could have been bitten by vampires and werewolves, and we were already worried about something having happened to him before the werewolf deal. So. I don't know. We never saw him turn into a werewolf, did we? We just saw him heal, didn't we? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so what we're saying is Cage could be like one of those hybrids that Kate Beckinsale came up against. Yeah, I'm thinking that too. I, I think we should take him home with us because we shouldn't leave him here in the castle where Strahd might do all manner of things to his corpse even if he's dead mm. and he is one of our party and I believe he's still under the truce so we so should neat. look after him well let's wrap him up in this sheet nice and tight mm. <laughs> that would be a good start um, okay so we'll just it's going to sneak down to the main dining room. Okay, so just so I'm clear, so Fisk is going to go down the main stairs um, and yep. uh, go to the dining room. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, so you... Oh, who's rolling? Oh, you're stealthing. Okay, cool. Wow. Uh, let me just get the right... Who 33? Somebody's really good at sneaking. That's pretty <laughs> yeah. impressive. That's like, I know. you are, you, you walk it? past Strahd. Like, he doesn't even notice you. He's on yeah. his, he's, he's <laughs> on his way to bed. He just like, doesn't even like, like, yeah, that's pretty impressive. That's, that's fucking, a natural 20 with a 13 is the highest roll I've ever seen. So, that's uh, pretty awesome. Um, so you, you're down at the bottom of the stairs. Um, and uh, where do you go from there? Uh, to the to the main dining hall. Where you ate dinner? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where Esma said she was yeah. going to hide out. So um, you enter into the main dining room. You notice that it's been completely cleaned and reset. Um, the yeah. uh, the organ um, is uh, is still there. Um, and uh, yeah, is there anything else you want to do? Is Esmeralda there? Or... I don't know. So, uh... I'm going to have a good investigation here while I'm here, by the way, because last time we were here, everyone was having dinner and, and chatting and, and Stride was here. Now yeah. it's empty. I'm going to... So give, a me really a, give me an investigation. And... Particularly around yeah. the organ and the 
left side where the wire yep. was. Yep. Go. Okay, you do notice that there's um, scratch marks on the floor that suggest that the organ can be slid outwards. Oh, really? Um, a little bit more investigation, you work out how to do that, and you discover that behind the organ is a secret door. The door itself is not well is not camouflaged because it's actually hidden behind the organ um, and uh, it has a very simple opening and closing mechanism it's closed I'll just do a, a check on it. Uh, I'm assuming it's probably not trapped or anything because it's been well hidden behind the organ Look, looking oh. up and down you you, know, you realize that no it isn't trapped and then uh, <laughs> Suddenly, you hear a voice behind you. What are you doing? And it's Esmeralda. Hello. Hey, Esmeralda. I was coming down to meet with you, as I said, and I just thought I'd have a look around because I didn't get a chance last time we were here and I found this door behind the organ. And she leans in and she, like, looks at it and she goes, What happened to everyone else? They're upstairs in the bedrooms. It's been a bit of an issue with one of our former party members. What do you mean an issue? Well, I think he was a bit of a wannabe vampire and he got dealt with. Is this, is this the one called Cage that we discussed last night? That's exactly the one that you gave me the heads up did on. He try and, uh, did he try and dispatch you all? I think he, that was his intention, but we beat him to it. I see. And uh, are you sure he's dead? How could you ever be sure some, with some of these things? But I think so. If I have my way, we'll hack his head off and throw it out the window and be really sure. She sort of <laughs> shivers a bit and she says, um, During the day, this place is chill. It, it comes to life as it is best described in the evening. The staff do not light fires. They are all asleep somewhere below. Come, shall we open this door? Shall we go and uh, proceed? Uh, are your friends? Uh, what what has happened? Uh, have you have you left your friends? Are we okay. is it you and I to go and uh, explore this place? Well, um, I haven't left them. I can go to rendezvous with you, and just thought I'd have a look around, but. Let's have a quick look, and if it looks bigger than what it is, we'll go and get a bit quiet. Very, very quiet. Opening the door, you open into a sort of um, 30 foot by 30 foot um, you know, area. It, it looks quite messy, but it, it looks like it might be like an archer outpost because clearly you see some arrow slits uh, in the western wall that look out into the uh, courtyard where you arrive, uh, arrived um, and uh, so they're sort of the arrow slits are like two and a half feet tall four inches wide um, and uh, leaning against the walls are mirrors of various sizes some as tall as humans others small enough to fit into a backpack um, like it's quite littered with um, with mirrors pushed up against the walls um, and there's not really like whilst there's daylight outside pushing through the fog it's just it's a dull light but it's certainly it's daylight but it's not anything that um, you know you would um, yeah 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 I understand I'll just um, and there's myriads of different sizes everywhere. Everywhere, all up against the walls. And so the light from the arrow split, slits are, you know, sort of rebounding around the place. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll just send you a picture just to save moving the map and everything. Yeah, yeah, I'll just yeah, send yeah. you a picture um, in the chat. 
in the chat thing. Um, in in Messenger, yeah. yeah. So all those things around the walls are basically mirrors. But certainly, this was like an archer outpost. A bit of an investigation around the mirrors. Is the is there a corridor going north and south? North one does that appears to end as the south one keeps the south going. one disappears and turns east and west. Okay. Ea, not Ea, um, Esmeralda sort of looks at the mirrors and rubs one of them with her finger and leaves a quite sort of deep groove of in the dust. So the mirrors are obviously been here for a very long time. And the dust is sort of caked on. It's it's more of a crust than just dust on them. Hmm. Okay, are you intending on doing any further exploration or heading back up? Because otherwise I'm going to cut back up to the guys up the stairs. Um, speaking. Uh, well, we're, we're going to ex have a quick look around that area first and up to the north. And then we'll head down south. Right. Okay, up at the right. north it only goes another sort of 10, um, ten odd feet. Um, uh, and there's another arrow slit that looks into the uh, area just before the great double doors of the castle. So, um, yeah, yeah. That, that has an arrow slit there. And then as you head south, yeah. you're coming down to what appears to be like a um, quite long sort of long and narrow corridor run, running east to, web, uh, east to west. And there are cobwebs... Um, all throughout here um, yeah. and you know the, the cobwebs are actually quite thick and they sort of obscure yeah. your sight to maybe 10 15 20 feet and then the cobwebs sort of and and the darkness of course because you don't have any natural light yeah all right and then you know quickly you see just over to the um, to the west you can see light coming in through again quite a number of um, arrow slits. So it's like an archer outpost on the western extremity of the castle. Yeah. Yeah. So you might recall that when you came in, you sort of—I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can. But yeah, like you came in. I'll turn the thing off. It'll be easier. Uh, background effect. And. So yeah, so when you came in, you sort of had the main entry here, and then obviously you're in one of these um, two archer towers at the front. Where the, yeah, makes yeah. sense? Yeah, yep, absolutely. So, and then you guys are up here, in up here, in the guest quarters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, up here in the guest quarters. Okay. Okay. Um, I might say, Osmeralda, we'll go back and get the rest of the party before we explore too deep into this. I just wanted to get yeah, a feel okay. for so it. So you guys make it back up. In the meantime, what have you guys been yeah. doing while they've been down there as they are now making their way back up? So uh, you're in the room. Um, and Fisk and Esmeralda are on their way back up. <coughs> Always a good question. What are we doing? We were wrapping um, Cage, I think, in a fresh sheet. So we his work isn't obvious. So we can carry him out with us when we go. Okay, so both of you are in the main bedroom chamber. Okay, yeah. So you achieve that in the time that Fisk is gone. Um, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, you've sort of mopped up all the blood and you've wrapped him up so there's no sort of signs of blood bleeding through on the out outer sheets and, and blankets that you've wrapped him up in. Um, are you covering his face? You're like making him into like a tube, a, 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 a cage roll? Um, I think, yeah, we'll do that. We'll just wrap him up completely so he's completely shrouded. Okay. All right. And so, yeah, so you've achieved that. There's really just a big 
you know, sausage of uh, cage on the floor. Um, and, um, mm -hmm. yeah, at that point, uh, Esmeralda and Fisk return into your chamber. Can I also just do another little check? I don't know if we've checked this room here off the bed Yeah, chamber. you have, and that was the toilet, um, water closet, um, there was a bath type arrangement there. Remember you got, when you first came into the castle, they took you up here to get changed. And I think one of you actually had a shower or bath or not a shower, but you know, like a cleanse yourselves in there. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Got clean. But uh, we checked it since Cage had his little oh, no, incident. No, you but... hadn't done that. I, I wouldn't mind just making what are you sure it doesn't have any. Uh, lurking vampire brides. Okay, um, well, give me a, give me a, uh, give me an investigation okay. check. So this small sort of closeted area, um, you know, has uh, has uh, the appropriate. It's got a bath, uh, a toilet type, you know, bowl, um, bowl thing. Um, nothing looks too different to what um, it was the night before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and that rug in the bedroom as I come out, can I just check it doesn't have anything weird going on? No anger issues or hidden elevators or... Okay, no, you uh -huh. lift the rug up and uh, there's nothing but floor. It's a little dusty. It doesn't appear to be well used. It, it As you lift it up, the you know, great plumes of dust start to fill the room. Nothing sinister though, just yeah, normal sort of dust. Um, but yeah, it's quite heavy. It's quite large. Um, but yeah, as you sort of move around the edges of it, you don't see anything that um, makes you feel suspicious. Nothing under the bed. You're checking under the bed. Yes. As you look down. You see that the bed itself um, is like the frame of the bed is only like two inches above the, the floor and without any artificial light you can't really see too much past it. Can I try to push the bed across? You can try, give me a, str give me a strength help. check. Yeah. Shall I help you push that bed across? Oh that would be great. Yeah, I can do that. I'm rolling so badly today, it'll be interesting. Oh, 17. Right, between the two of you, you push the bed across. Um, it makes quite a racket, um, but uh, underneath there is just like um, even more sort of dirt and um, sort of detritus that there, but nothing that looks unusual as to something that would be under a bed in like a guest room for, you know, hundreds of years undisturbed or cleaned. Okay. I feel much better now. But At least... We... Yeah. Misty. Checked. Maybe if we haven't missed anything. <laughs> yeah. If it was somebody in the room pretending and forcing me to do that, then they're probably long gone through the trap door, right? Mm. Although I'm wondering if that trap door was like visible to us because of our little effort with the um, the lever in that hidden room. Maybe. Or whether it's actually been used last night as well. Because we did send it flying upwards at a great rate. And I think we heard a big thud. Hard to know. Okay, that's destroyed. I'll also let all you guys know about the secret door I found behind the organ. Secret door. Ooh, and what did you find in the room? It's like um, an area, like a, a, a quiet area where archers could move about without disturbing anyone and access to the courtyards and other front facing parts of the castle. It's also weirdly full of mirrors. 
Okay. Carrots. Oh, um. I hit that gal at some point and investigate the rest of it. Do I'll just ask a question and just say, has anyone actually noticed any mirrors as we've walked through this castle so far? No? Vampires don't like mirrors. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is it because they can't be seen in them or is that why they're there? Possibly. Okay. okay. So what's the plan? We've wrapped up cage nice and tight. There's a nice rug in the bedroom that we could use or we could use the rug with anger issues over the trap door. Shall we roll him up and take him downstairs and leave him near the door so that we don't forget him on our way out? Should we do that? Should we move him now and just leave him? Put him in the umbrella stand. <laughs> well, I'm thinking um, there's the carriage. Maybe we can just try and find the carriage outside and load Cage up, go for a mosey now that it's daylight, and mm. just stick the carriage ready for travel. So we also haven't been up the stairs either to that bridge that I found that went across to the other turret. True. Or investigated the purring room. Yeah, the purring room sounds interesting. The which one? Sorry, the. Oh, the, the as I went up up the stairs oh, the in purring. this turret, I heard a door and I could hear yeah. loud purring. You could. Okay, so. Is it easier for us to then just go up the stairs because they're just outside the room and leave Cage here for now and then go look at the turrets first before we move him downstairs? Should we do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Fisk, you're up with that? Yeah. Okay. We tell Irina and Ia that's the plan. Okay, Dunk, so we are, if I move Starfire out, we are going to, oops, where did Starfire go? I just lost Starfire. We're going to move upstairs and go explore Okay, first. as you are discussing this, there's a knock on the door. Oh. Be there. Creepy non-vampire guy. Sorry, Bernard, I missed that. That was a bit blurry, okay. man. Oh, no, I was just saying, I was thinking of that creepy non-vampire non guy that was uh, chatting me up a bit earlier. Um, we'll get Ia to open the door, given she's closest, and we don't trust Irina not to make a run for it. <laughs> I'll indicate to Ia to open the so door. Yeah. Um does that. Irina moves back uh, towards where the chairs are. And uh, Ia opens the door and young Gertruda who you met last night um, is standing at the um, standing outside the door carrying a rather large tray. And on the tray are quite a number of bowls. And in each bowl are two eggs, and also there is a loaf of bread, um, and some lard on the tray as well. She does a little curtsy, and you can see that she looks very tired and quite pale. Okay. Um... She hasn't said anything as yet to um, Ia. What do you want Ia to do? Someone's going to run Ia? Who's doing that? Bernard? Not me. I'll, I'll, I'll have I'll a look to it, yeah. Ia is, Ia is going to take the tray and thank Gertruda. Gertruda just sort of, um, almost in a daze. She's sort of really, she's even a little wobbly, but she's very, very, 
very, very pale and very, um, you know, sort of almost sickly looking. Very different to what she seemed to the night before. Um, she does a little curtsy and she, uh, she turns and begins to go back down the stairs. Okay. All right. I call dibs on cages, share of the food. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, we'll sit down and have breakfast before we explore then, I guess. Okay, so who takes a bowl? I am going to... So, two eggs in each bowl, and there are five bowls. There are five bowls? Should we give one to Esmeralda? I'll give mine to Esmeralda. Yep, so there's... Stuff on. Yeah, we'll give a bowl to Esmeralda. Her token's gotten very big, Dunk. Yeah, she's looking really scary now. <laughs> so Gertruda, yes. Oh, she has, isn't she? Yeah, sorry. Oh my god. She's got those big what eyes that going look on there? like she become a vampire bride. I don't know why that's happened. That's quite it's weird. Huh. Alright, okay. Well, Gertruda got very big. Maybe she ate something. But yes, yeah, so as she as you uh, close the door behind her, um, can I just get Ia to do a perception check, please? Who's got Ia's sheet open? Um, no. In fact, I don't even have Irina's open. <coughs> Hang I on a second. Bowl, a look at it. But I will open Irina's now if you open. Can you open them good? Um, I can have a look like for, ears. um, yes, for ears. Hang on a sec. So, ear, you are saying perception? Oh, she's got quite a good perception, generally, hasn't she? She turns to you as she shuts the door and she whispers, as only Maddie could with the facial expressions. Yeah. <laughs> and she goes... Someone's been fed on them last night. Sorry, can you do that again? Sorry, I was trying to type notes. I missed the Someone's whole visual bit. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. Get when you hang out with them. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay. So, um, five bowls, two eggs, so ten yep. eggs all up, a loaf of bread, yep. a knife, and some lard. You, you take 20 minutes to eat everything? The, the eggs are all hard-boiled. Oh, good. They're not raw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Ear takes one. Fist takes one, Wolfrill takes one, Irina takes one. I'm going to investigate mine. And, um, and then I, I Esmeralda, Esmeralda. Esmeralda goes, uh, I wonder if they knew I was here or... I wonder. And Irina, Irina yeah. steps forward. Isn't it cages? It's meant to be cages, right? Yeah. I'm going to have a look at my food very closely as well and just check if there's anything off about it. Maybe if I notice anything. So uh. I'll just run through that again. There's five bowls. So ear, fisk, wolfrel, starfire. Right, Irina okay. takes one. Oh. They're one short. They knew Cage was dead, right? Jesus Christ. How good are you guys at maths? Seriously. Sorry, not very good. <laughs> Bad even. 
I didn't really get okay. any of that. I just took my bowl and started eating, just to be clear. I wasn't sitting there getting yeah. bowls. And I gave mine to Esmeralda. I was just assuming there was still one to investigate, so. I never even looked. Did Esmeralda investigate? No, she cracked the eggs. The eggs are all, it all looks pretty straightforward. Um, and, uh, yeah, Esmeralda says, uh, you said you were under his protection, so I have no reason to suspect that, uh, have you broken anything that I do not know of? I don't think we broke anything of his. The truce was not taking things of his or breaking things of his. Unless he was bitten and turned, then he wasn't Strahd, so... I would go no. I think we're good. I see. I under led to understand that uh, you have dispatched one of your fellow uh, members of your team. We've had a slight incident in the middle of the night. That is when these things tend to occur. Have you checked the body? Is it yeah. uh, animating or animated? Not yet. Not yet. We've wrapped it in a sheet and we've left it next door we've had a look we'll keep an eye on it though yes i suspect you should she finishes um the two eggs quickly and carves off um, a slice of bread proportionate to one sixth of what it should be um and sort of scoffs that up she seems quite hungry it's as if she hasn't properly eaten for some time hmm Okay, fair enough. Okay, so where are you guys going to go? Upstairs. We're going to follow and go look at the room that was purring. Okay. Can we, can we lock him? Can we lock Cage in that bedroom before we go? Nothing locks here, does it? Is there a lock? No. No, there's no lock. No, I'm just trying no to, lock. I'm just trying to no. copy you all so copy I can move you up. up. Worst that could happen. Okay. Worst that could happen is he won't be there when we get back because he's become a vampire and all that. He'll be pissed. But it'll be worse because he'll be a vampire like and throat hybrid. And then we'll have issues dispatching him. Seven. On. Okay, cool. All right. Um, so I need to put you guys on the next table up. Just let me. I'm just going to stack you all together because otherwise it's just too hard to oh. manage you all. Like low. Oh, actually, this map's much better, actually. This is my handsome beast. This is what we're looking for in the room, Nikki, isn't it? We're looking for these. These handsome beasts, aren't we? You're going to start in the campaign. Hey, Trouble. <laughs> well, I have a theory about that too. About the purring. Mm. Vampire cats. Vampire cats. That trouble. Who's that? Who's that? You come up to the top of the stairs and uh, you find yourselves uh, at, a, at a landing. The stairs continue onwards and upwards. So you yep. spiral staircase uh, now is uh, a little more lit from the top as if there is perhaps light uh, from the day filtering through somehow. Um, uh, entering into the darkness of the 
otherwise quite dark below you stair spiral staircase that's come up. Are we going to keep going up? We'll go through the. Um... So what are you guys going to do? We're following Wolfrol the stairs. Yeah. So what are you doing, Wolfrol? Are you going to continue upstairs? Or are you going to stop at um, this door, which is the one that um, you uh, you believed? Uh, Beg your pardon. I'm going to stop at the door and listen again. Okay, give me a perception check. Is that your perception check there, Starfire? Um, sorry. Was that, was that me... for now or was that an earlier one? That was for the food. Let me just do perception now. Yeah, yeah Wolf for 15, yeah. You don't really, um, you don't really hear anything. The door is certainly shut. Um, and you hear the rain and the thunder. It seems to be more prominent. It's as if you're almost at the top of this tower. You can actually hear the peter-patter of the rain as it hits um, the ceiling, perhaps, you think. Okay, but no purring. So not a purr in sight. Yeah. Is the door locked? Did you want to try it? I'm going to try it without actually opening it. Yes, the handle the handle moves. Is it still cold? It was cold last time. It's still cool to the touch. But it is morning in Barovia. I look over my shoulder at the others to see if they're interested in going in. I'm good. All right. I'll... It's your open. Mhm. Mm Slowly. Ooh, what is that? Ooh. As you look in the low ceiling of this 20 foot square room presses down on you. You can see torn and broken couches lying in heaps haphazardly strewn about. Deep claw marks cover the hard wood furniture and the once lush upholstery has been sliced to threads. From the dark shadows amid the rubble, three pairs of green eyes stare back at you. Ooh, kitty. And yes, there are kitty, kitty, kitty. Let me... Are they vampire kitties or are they normal kitties? They seem to be normal kitties. We'll go. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Hey, kitty. So the cats, um, the cats are staring at you. None of you have actually entered the room as yet, though. This is what you can okay. see. And how um, big are they? Are they like normal house cats? Domestic, domestic cats? house cats, yeah. And do they appear to have caused all this damage to the couches? Is it well, like, give me a nature they? check. <laughs> With advantage, given that you're a cat, cat person, Nikki. Cat. 25 will do it. Um, yeah, it pretty much looks like these cats have um, just trashed this place over time. Can we see evidence of food anywhere? Like if I come up, poke my nose in. Can I see if they're being fed or if they're being stuck here? Esmeralda. Sorry, I wonder where Esmeralda went. I've just worked that out. Um, um, no, they seem to be quite well fed. Hmm. I wonder what they've been feeding them. Um, so, who's going into the room? Anyone going into the room? 
Mm -hmm. It's a very good question. Yeah. Does it appear that there's anything in the room worth going in for? Ripped up couches and cat scratches and... <coughs> Seems strange he locks his cats into a room. Maybe it's to protect all the his door, other furniture. The door was not locked. Can I lean in and look around the corner? So stepping into the room, the cats sort of sort of start to move towards you slowly, as cats do, sort of tentatively. So who stepped in? Yeah. I did. So the cats just sort of approach <coughs> halfway, and they're like, they sort of spread out a little bit watching you. Um, one remains where it was, and now you can see that there is also a door to the south, directly opposite you. Ah, there's a door to the south, directly opposite me. Yeah. <coughs> I wonder where that leads. Can I try some animal handling without actually handling them at this point? Just yeah, you can try and yeah, yeah. make some nice little cat friendly noises. Yeah, kitty, I'm gonna kitty, step kitty. into the room and do the same. All right, Fisk, what oh, are you and the rest of the tribe back. doing? I'm just hanging back at the moment, watching. Okay. Um, Esmeralda is is anxiously looking up, and she has her uh, her rapier drawn. Um, and Ia is also got a weapon drawn standing next to Esmeralda, who is now, I think, Ia's new best friend. And Irina is standing behind those two, also looking up, while Fisk, you're at the top of the stairs. Wolfrell, Starfire, you're in the room. The cats um, the cats respond a little bit to, um, to you, and they certainly don't seem like they're going to scratch the crap out of you. But they sort of, they're still a bit cautious. Um, and um, they sort of make their way now towards the door and one of them looks like mm -hmm. it's about to go out the door and scamper away. Did you want us to try and stop it? Yeah. Okay. We don't want to let it loose in the castle. Give me a, dex give me a dexterity uh, saving throw. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you block it with your foot and it now it sort of moves away and goes towards the back of the room and jumps up on the couch. Um, it obviously is you know, no, now not going to um, make any attempt to, uh, to depart the area. Well, we don't want to piss straight off by getting rid of his cats by accident, do we? So, if they seem well fed, watered, all of the above... Should we go have a look at that door to the south? Let's do that. I'll call out to Fisk and go, Fisk, do you want to come and have a look at this door to the south and do your stealth thing? Sure can. Yeah. Sweet. I'll move out of the way and let you in. Okay, you notice uh, the description I gave earlier of this room full of, you know, cat, cat stuff. It smells a bit cat pissy. Um... But, uh, you know, not, nothing unexpected. Um, the door, the door is shut. And uh, for the first time in a while, it has a lock on it. Yeah, it's a very simple lock. You think you'd be able to open it very, very easily. Oh, sure. Yeah. Pick the lock. Okay, give me a lock pick check. Oh, Starfire, what's Thanks. happened there? Sorry, I'm just turning my camera off because I'm moving through the house and just trying to deal with it. Every time you do something to your camera, it like really stuffs up my, um, which is fine. I don't know why it's only yours. That's it. it just... Let me turn it back on and what I'll do. So I'll just leave you here, and you can just like, you know, look out while I deal with this cat. Everyone's dealing with cats. Right, 
star five of lock two in. Okay. Um, okay, Fist, what did you want to do? You're going yep. to uh, open it? Yeah. Yep, easily. Piece of piss. It's like hardly even a challenge. Are you going to open it? Mm-hmm. Pushing the door open reveals quite an interesting room. Um, the first thing you notice looking up is that heavy beams support the ceiling of this large room. The outer wall of which curves to follow the shape of the tower to the south. You can see that um, there's a steel lattice um, of two lead glass windows and dim light is coming through them from the morning. Several tables stand throughout the room weighed down by stacks of glass jars and bottles, all of them bearing labels. How did we go? Did we get through the door? Yes. Ooh, thanks. And the other cats here reacting to this going into that room. Hang on. What are you doing, Maddie? No, the cats aren't uh, aren't reacting. But Fisk goes in, and the first thing you see is that. Yeah, these are. There seems to be like concoctions of you know these things, and what catches your eye first is eye of newt, hair of bat, snail hearts, frog's breath. These are the types of jars that just sort of are at that first table you're standing next to. Um, yeah. But everything seems quite clean. Um, it's not dusty. Certainly doesn't have the disgusting sort of cat piss smell that uh, is in the previous room where the uh, the others are. Very very witchy with cats. Mm. Is this yeah. So there's a number of tables with spell components. Um, well, vial. Um, where, I have where have you gone, Fisky? Bits of bat. So, hey? What is with your other way? Where did everyone go? Where's everyone gone? Come here. Where's Fisk? Uh, Starfire and I are by the door. Where's Fisk? Fisk oh, there's Fisk. Sorry. Yep. Yeah, okay. I see. All right. What are you doing in the room, Fisky? So. I'm just. I just moved across the room to have a look at the other table. Yep, same sort of stuff. Just you know, bottles and bottles of weird, you know, sort of, you know, spell potion type components. Yeah. 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 I'll wait for the others to come in. Um, I might do a bit of an investigation around the room in terms of looking for anything odd. Okay. So first thing you notice is the door just here. Um, to the yeah, north. And give yeah. me your investigation. Fairly, not very well hidden. Just here, there's a trap door in the floor. In the far corner. Yeah. still here guys so I can I'm just um, yeah oh. so if you want to tell me what you're doing I'll have a look at the truck door do a check on it. You're making so it, it, it opens um, fairly straightforward it's just got it's yep. it's as if it's designed to um, be open from here not from below yeah I'll open it up is that what you do you open it up That's what I do. give me a perception check Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I've just I've just put the trap door onto the token level, so you should be able to see it now. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It seems to open into a chamber area below. Um, you can see there's like a, uh, a, a reasonably nice bath. Um, the room the room below looks to be, I'd say, um, uh, uh, hang on. It looks to be about 10 by 10 feet. There's like a basin, there's a chamber pot, there's a bath. <coughs> right. Almost like someone's room, and then they come up to their work area. Right, so that's what you see. The rest are still obviously yep. out there. I'll, I'll move Irina and Co in with the cats. <coughs> <clears throat> Can I go and investigate the door? And well, oh, that one was locked. Was that the story? Yeah, the one the that you just come locked. through is locked. The one that is uh, leads to the north now is unlocked. I'm going to listen at that door. Okay, give me a perception check. Um, so you don't hear anything. What do you want to do first? Um, I reckon that door, because if the trap door is just to a small room below. Yeah, but I don't want someone coming up behind us. I'd rather get The down. small room below that you saw too also had a door to the west. I did it? Okay. Mm. Oh, well, so many choices. I'm not hearing anything behind this door, so we could go that way first through the trap door. Do you want me to stay here and listen at this door and just see how far you go? Are you going to lower Fisk down or something? Is there any way? How, how does someone get up through the trap door? Is there a ladder, a rope? No ladder, no rope. Nothing nearby that you can see. How far down is it to the next level? Not about 15 feet. I can hang over the edge and hold you and help you drop down. Yeah, Fisk, you'll be able to do that pretty easily. He's very, very acrobatic. So you're going to drop down, Fisky? Yeah. Okay. Dropping down, you find yourself, as I said, in a, uh, in a room. There's a bathtub. Um, there's a chamber pot. The chamber pot has been used. Um, and there's also some water... Um, like on a small small table that um, you would wash wash your face with. Yeah. And then there's a door to the west, but nothing else in the no room. No windows, no nothing. I'll um, go over and just do a stealth over and have a quick quiet the doors unlocked the it's door. a very simple you know door that you would expect to see on a bathroom you know sort of shower toilet area type thing yep um i'll quietly open the door 
Opening the door, you see a room. The thing that strikes you most instantly is that in the middle of the room, lying on a large rug, is a rolled up series of sheets and blankets. Do I you do indeed. You recognise the room as where you all spent the night. Yeah. Ha! Huh. Sure. I uh, slip back to the trap door. The plot thickens. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, make my way back up mm -hmm. through the trap door. So, yeah, with the assistance of your um, compatriots, uh, you make it back up, no problem at all. Okay. I lean down and help pull him up. All right. Oh. Will I open this door Bridge then? Door to the north. Quietly open this door. After that little revelation. So you're now opening the door. Okay, pushing yes. it quickly, it opens inwards, and you are met with a strange scene. Green glowing wisps of steam bubble up from a fat black cauldron in the centre of this dark, oppressive room. Is there anyone in there? Uh, give me a perception check if you want to see if there's anyone in there. What you do see is that there are a number of chairs, seven in fact, that sit round, um, around the room. Seven chairs. Hmm. Give me two sex team, I just gotta do a quick uh, big map check. Uh oh. No, there's no uh oh. No need for uh oh. Right. There we go, yes. I hope they didn't cook. It could explain a lot though about the shenanigans in the night. It certainly could. I think Spell this is very mm. Who's gonna try? Well, again, it comes back to: is that really Cage? Mm. What if they spelled somebody? So mm. that's what you've seen. None of you have entered yet, um, and uh, you certainly it it it's the cauldron is bubbling, and you know green wisps of smoke or steam or whatever it is not smoke perhaps there is a bit of cordite or something in there mixed but you know um, bubbling up but there are seven sort of uh, I'm not sure if you can see that on your your map there are yeah. seven mm -hmm. yeah yeah seven uh, but no people visible and no cats um does this, if, can I do a bit of a arcana check to see if the seven means anything to me? Sure. <sighs> yes, it has great meaning to you. It is the number that comes before eight and the one that comes after six. Ah, right, I think Great. this is a very auspicious number. Okay, I'm going to step in there, I think, Starfire. Okay. You got my back? Yep, I got your back. I'll try to have my front. All right. Try not to breathe too deeply just in case. 
Okay, as you step in, there's a. You 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 get a feeling that you're being watched. That's all. That's that's. It's just an uncanny feeling, like you're being watched. <laughs> Is that like the feeling the painting gave us? Gave me in that entry to the little room we stayed in. No, it's very much different to that. Okay. I might look very closely around again at all of the chairs to check that there's no one in any of them. When it comes up as Barovian witch, you know there's an issue, right? <laughs> Big story. Yeah, I'm just looking at that going, this fucker's going back straight back down the trap <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I, should, I should be just rolling my dice. <laughs> Suffice to say, with your 19, you notice that um, that there's a swirl of dust in the air as if somebody, perhaps shielded from visible sight, has quickly, uh, silently, but there's also a bit of a shuffle as if someone's shuffled their feet up against the wall to the north. Mm hmm. Is that this wall? Correct. Uh, I'll just whisper quietly back to Starfire that I believe there's someone else in the room. And I'll gesture to Fisk Fisk's with many door. hand gestures going, we think there's somebody in the room. One. That door. Um... It's a pretty small room. They probably heard me say that. So I think I'm going to head around and without sticking my head right over the cauldron because I don't want to inhale too many fumes, I'm going to have a little look into the cauldron. It just seems to be green muck. It's almost as if there's like little newts or frogs sort of swimming around in it you know that sort of come up you see like a shadow but it's got a very sort of weird green glow certainly doesn't look appetizing and it doesn't smell well mm -hmm. cat piss is far more um, favorable to the nostrils mm. i'll um keep going around the room i'll step into the doorway just in case somebody tries to escape, I'll just block the door. Maria, can you roll me a 20 um, a sort of dice, please? I certainly can. Can I ask why? No. <laughs> I'm going to um, give myself a bark skin. So you cast bark skin? On yourself? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. <coughs> mm -hmm. So you take some bark out and uh, cast it. But I'm keeping an eye on that possible figure in the corner where I think they are. Almost directly in front of you. Like in the next five foot space in front of you is where you saw the dust and heard the scrape. So if there's someone there, they're up against the corner. So Starfire's in the room now too. I'm going to look straight at it now and say, um, what, what is it that you're cooking in this cauldron, which? We're here under a tree with Strahd. I 
I can see you standing right there. She's not very chatty. Is she shushing me? So the shush seems to have come not from in front of you, but over to your left, to the west, and then to your front. Here? Mm-hmm. Somewhere over there. I can see you too, over there. And I'll look over that way. Nothing. Are we really going to do this? Come on. I'll, um, I'll use a bit of uh, persuasion. Okay. I suppose I'll just have to um, report what's going on in here to Strad when we're leaving. You're under his protection. Leave us. This is our room. The voice that spoke is from the uh, over here, basically, but still nothing is seen. From here? Yeah, over in the corner here. Go. Leave us be. We make no harm against you. You are here under his protection. Whilst he has given you... No doubt, uh, leave to explore his uh, domain. This is ours. Please, let us continue. And one by one, around you appear four haggard, witchy looking women standing Jeez. as they drop their spell of invisibility, which you now recognize. Um, and uh, and sort of are uneasily sort of um, holding their hands up ready to um, yeah ready to like um, you know maybe cast or push or grab or do something um, we're, we're only exploring as we were told to do we weren't told about any rooms off limits on this level. We well, respect this as ours. Be gone, you're interrupting us. We are busy. We don't want to disrespect you, but we had um, some strange goings on in our room <laughs> last night. You are guests and you of seem to be very, Of course very there's connected. strange goings on. Well, you have a doorway straight through to our room, so what's the go with that? How do we know that wasn't you? Wasn't us what? That came into our room last night. Trust us, we have no interest in going into your rooms. In fact, we weren't even here last night. Where were we? are off! Stard had a thing, no doubt... Uh, you were there, there would have been frivolities and the dancing and the cavorting. We have no time for that. We have things we must do around here. And so we have only returned this morning upon the rise of the sun. So someone's been through your room to get to our room and you don't know about it? Well, clearly we don't. And if they've come through our room, they're as rude as you. Do I believe that? Give me an insight check and I'll tell you if you think. Pretty convincing. <laughs> now look, be gone. We're having breakfast and catching up. It'd be most appreciated if you could go. And sure, look, I don't think you're staying here tonight unless you're just simply even more foolish than you appear. But, uh, look, leave us be. 
We are unable to uh, touch you, but of course you're welcome to touch us, which will result in us being allowed to touch you and breaking your truce here. So, you know, one of them steps uh, sort of intimidatingly towards you. Um, and, uh, you know, having the other one sort of say, you know, so, so she sort of like, you know, fronts up to you, sort of like school bully-like. She doesn't touch you, though. She just like... You know, it's looking down her haggardy old water-ridden nose at you. You're a druid, you nature-loving tree hugger. There's plenty of tree and frogs and creatures of uh, the forest in this pot. Perhaps you'd like some. And she puts her hand into the pot and brings out sort of this uh, quivering, you know, frog. And then just like squeezes it. And it, you hear the crack of its bones, and then she lets it slip back down into the pot. Oh, that's gross! And she's standing her ground now, glaring down her warty nose. Even though she's shorter than you, she's still glaring down her nose at you. Well, I'm going to give her the glare back and go. You know, you can't touch us. So, why don't we just have a little catch up? It would be nice. Maybe we could share some information. Maybe we know something you'd like to know. You know nothing that we would have any interest in. You're only temporary. You're nothing but food, to be honest. You and your like have come before. Don't think you're special. We aren't food. And not to us, you aren't. But to the master <laughs> of this domain, you simply play things till he hungers. Food. Well, what do you think, Starfire? I think we leave these witches be and just exit. They're obviously not going to help us. A wise mm -hmm. woman, that one. Although, woman, it's hard to tell. Creatures like you. You and your kind died out here many eons ago. Everyone knows it. Argen Vosselt. Argen Vosselt himself. His skull lies below here, you know. Perhaps you can feel it. Perhaps you're here to get it. Well, good luck, I say to you. Now, be off. And don't touch any of our things. Where does the skull lie? Mel Hilda. See them out. And she points to the... I was going to the... say... Sorry. Before we go, the skull lies below here, as in this room here, or just general here? She sort of looks at you as if you are a complete idiot. And uh, she goes, uh, well, I don't know what is below here. I think it is uh, perhaps uh, the guest quarters, maybe even where you slept. Your friend uh, rabbiting on about some uh, access or someone going into your quarters. Well, we were not here and no one should be coming through here. Now, okay. off you go. You, the smart one, who's kind, uh, uh, failed so dismally all those years ago. That's what the legends say. And, uh, and uh, all I have for you, really, is that you, um, yes, I believe Argon Voss' head is below a souvenir, a treasure of Strads in the lower levels of the chambers. Perhaps you, uh, perhaps you could go visit it. And she sort of points out the door as if it's time for you to go. Thanks, man. Exit stage left. Very helpful. Nice to say it was lovely to meet you. Mm. It would be nice to say that. It would be lovely to meet you all again sometime when we aren't bound by Strad's Tennessee agreement. And, uh, we leave you pathetic. And one of them says, Now, now. Hildura, shush. And then this one then turns to you and says, have a nice day. And then the one in the corner moves and shuts the door um, behind you, basically. <laughs> and okay. boom, they are now shut. Lovely witches. So hmm. helpful. What do you make of that? <clears throat> mm. They seemed 
truthful in that they didn't know what had gone on last night. But it seems like somebody knew that they would be out and use their rooms, I think. It does, doesn't it? Mm. It's a shame the cats can't talk. I wonder if the cats could talk. Do we have anything for that? <laughs> Talking cats? Hmm. If I turn into an animal, can I talk to it? Mm, good question. I'll have to check on that. Yeah. Maybe the cats know what went on last night. Have a quick look. Like I know you take on um, many of the creatures' properties. Just have a quick look, um, Nikki, while we continue and let me know what the spell says or what the um, ability says. Okay. Yeah, it was. Unfortunately, it was Cage who could talk to animals, wasn't it? <laughs> who you killed? <laughs> Sorry, I'm drawing. Uh, uh, Maybe. Possibly. And innocent until proven guilty, but I was obviously <laughs> tricked. I would never kill Cage. I'm lawful good. I would never kill them unless it was, you know, necessary in life or death. So, Fist, do you shut the trap door? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, are we heading further up? I think we should, after we see if we can talk to the cats. Who can talk to the cats? <sighs> Wolfram might be able to turn into a creature and talk to the cats and ask them if they saw anything. That's our next plan. Wild okay. shape. I've got Celestial. Mm. And draconic. Nothing that says cats. Hmm. No. Sorry. Just quick. That's okay. Uh, why are transformers? The following rules apply. We'll catch up Ia and Irina and just tell them and Esmeralda what went on with the witches, that we're still no closer to understanding what happened. Dunk, I'm just going to have a look at these tables. Okay, so I'm going to say that you can speak cat as best cats speak because you can't cast spells and your ability to speak or take any action um, mm -hmm. is limited to the beast form. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, I'm going to give it a try then. I'll um, wild shape into a cat. Right. So, wild shaping into a cat. That's exciting. That's interesting. Yeah. A tiny Beast, unaligned, with an intelligence of three. Um, no real language. So I'm going to get you to tell me what you want to find out. And then we're going to work out <coughs> how that might play out. I, I want to find out if... Um they saw anyone come through the room last night. Particularly anyone who wasn't their mistresses, the witches. Okay, so sorry, Nikki, I'm just checking something else in the wider web. Okay, so I've got a plan. Right, go. What are you saying? I apologise for that. Um, that's all right. I'm 
I'm trying to find out if anyone else passed through their room last night, um, particularly anyone who wasn't one of the witches. Anyone unusual? You is the answer. Not last night. You, you, are you? And the cat sort of is looking at um, Irina, Esmeralda, and Ia, and it says you, you, and you. Anyone else? You. And it sort of ties with the conversation now, and sort of, sort of moves away from you. Any vampires? The um. All the three cats turn and look at you quickly when you say any vampires. Where? Which one? Where? Which one was in here last? Where? And the cats now start looking. And in one this of them, room. One of them. Here? Here? Here. And they, uh, they now start to sort of... Um, they start to go a little bit sort of cat crazy, jumping around the room, um, looking at things and scratching things. Mm. So I think they think that um, all humans are humans, so they're not that right. And when you said vampire, they think you're saying there is a vampire around somewhere. Mm. What else you want to do, Nikki? Mm. Not sure what I can get out of these cats, to be honest. Mm. Do you um, want to ever get out of the room? Out! Out! And one of them um, jumps up, knocks the door, and it opens. And it go runs out and it runs down the stairs. Oh. Okay. The other two um, are, are still there and um, they're sort of still ran, running around and then they start to slow down. They just sort of stop, uh, not together, just in different parts of the room, and they're looking at you now. Food. Food. <laughs> it's very realistic. Hmm. Oh well, it was worth a try. <clears throat> so, you, do you return or do you stay in your cat form? I'll stay in my cat form while the rest of the party decide what they're doing. I might stay in cat form for a little while. Okay. I think we'll come through. And just go, I'll look at Wolfril and go, any good? Any information in cat shape? Is she able to communicate, yes or no? No, she can only speak cat. Wow. Well. Yeah. I'm like, shall we go explore then? Fancy a walk? I'll just follow Starfire. Okay. We're going to go up the stairs. We're going to go out and up. So, out and up? Out and up. All right. So, I should be able to pace you all. Yeah. Less the witch. So, if you all now um, ignore your duplicates over to the left and now focus on uh, the fact that you've now come up to the top here yeah. of the tower. And uh, there's a gentle rain, thunder and lightning... Um, Thunder and lightning, um, sort of uh, cracking around uh, around the place. Um, and uh, yeah, Wolfrule, you recognise this. This sixty-foot diameter tower is rimmed with battlements. A slender stone bridge with no railing spans the gap between this tower and the slightly taller tower to the north. To the east, the high tower of Ravenloft thrusts skyward with no apparent opening at this level. 
black balling clouds hurl rain down from above. Mm -hmm. I remember this place. I head over towards the bridge. Okay, so the cat makes a move towards the bridge. Remembering there's no railings on this, so it's just like a... Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's just like... Just a little bridge across. Yeah. Let's go. And that's where you're going? Yep. Does it seem go. like something a cat could cross, or is it too windy and wet? No, it's not. It's not dangerously windy. It certainly is windy and wet. Um, Esmeralda. So you enter in. That doesn't look ominous at all. No. No. I'll just hang back. Okay, as you enter, what you see is that the quite wide stairs um, head down um, on the right hand side. So on the right, on the eastern side of the wall, those stairs go down. Um, yeah. On the western side of the wall, the stairs continue upwards. And what you can see is that the mosaic floor adds a touch of colour to this otherwise dark, cold, empty tower that rises and falls above and below you. The spiral staircase rises and falls again, hugging the outer wall. In the centre of the room, another set of stairs again leads down. There's no railing on the spiral staircase. And as you step, you can see that there's a reddish light flaring from high overhead. Well, not too high overhead, high enough. Just really sort of, you know, um, maybe 30, 40 feet above you from where you are. And uh, a reddish light flares overhead, then settles into a dull, pulsing red glow. You can now see the full immensity of this tower. The spiral staircase circles up to the tower's full height, the tower 60 feet wide at its base, becoming narrow as it climbs. At the pinnacle of the hollow tower, a large crystal heart pulsates with red light, and above the heart the, sta the stairs continue upwards. Large crystal. I think I might resume druid form. I don't think I really want to be a cat with two hit points under a large pulsating crystal heart. Right. Mm. So, what I need everyone to do is uh, roll initiative. Hey, I'm not even crossed the fucking bridge yet. <laughs> I know, but I just need you to just roll some initiatives for me, please. Thank you, everybody. That'll be wonderful. Oh, I forgot to select my tracker when I roll my token. I'll do it for Oh, excuse me. I can't get Irina to come up. Yeah, I'll do her as well. I'll just, um... Hey, I selected and it still didn't come up. Did that not work? Hey, Fisk, I've got two of you on the thing. Maybe I didn't clear it. Uh, I've only got one. It's 17. Yeah. Oh, actually, it's come up twice. Yeah. Oh. So you got 17, so I'll delete that one. Uh, so, uh, I know. If, if you click initiative to bring it up, it rolls. But then if you roll quick and you go and click initiative like you used to have to do in roll 20, you actually click it twice. It's happened to me before. Oh, so I've, like, rolled everyone's initiative. 
No, I th- yeah, possibly. I've just seen it where, you know, when you touch initiative or, um, or whatever you want to get a roll. Yeah. When you touch initiative, it roll 20 goes and rolls it from beyond 20. Yeah. But then you go across to the little beyond 20 box to actually manually do it, and you actually end up doing it once. Right, okay. So that's what seems to have happened here. So yeah. Irene has been rolled, Esmeralda's rolled, um, Starfire. So I'm going to take your lower ones for everyone. Jeez, <coughs> um, how many Starfires have I got? So I've got Ea, Wolf Rule, Starfire. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And let me just. This say. is where Esmeralda can earn her keep. Look at those paws. Pretty paws. Sorry. I don't like the computer sitting on you, do you? What are you doing? Good boy. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. So, thanks for that. Um, what do you guys want to do? So I'm back in druid form. Yep, you're back in druid form. You and Starfire are standing at, haven't entered the tower yet, but you can see, certainly just above you, thirty feet above you, suspended, um, above this sort of chasm that falls down below. Um, you don't even, you can't, I mean, you haven't entered, you can just see that it's quite deep, obviously. Um, but the stairs to the left uh, here continue up 50 feet. Um, and there, there's this crystal pulsating heart. Is the heart in, sorry, I might have missed it before, is that above us, below us, or just in the... It's above you. Yeah. It's about 30 feet above you. Yeah. And it's pulsating like a heartbeat. Boom, boom. And you can almost feel as if the air is vibrating as well. Those two of you who are almost in the tower. And doing an arcana check. Yeah, it's pretty freaky shit. (laughs) It's definitely some magic shit going on here. Could this be the thing that's controlling Strahd, allegedly? Could it be the dark powers that have cursed us? Maybe. The dark powers. It looks like a dark power. It does. I'll call out and try and talk to it. I'll say, yo. Are you going to enter? You're still on the outside. You're actually on the this little bridge. Yep. I'll step inside and I'll say hello. I'll call out. Hello, beating heart or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Strange, <laughs> large, crystalline, beating heart-shaped thing. I'll step in too. Okay, as as you step in, you can certainly feel that, like, each time it goes, it's not like it's, it's, and having just done your arcana check, you feel it's more, not a vibration, not a wind, not a pressure or anything, more perhaps a magical energy that's causing everything to vibrate. Hmm. And it seems... As you're moving around, it seems uh, as as if you get closer to the centre of this tower. <coughs> it's quite strong. Well, um... And almost, though, as you've now sort of moved, you know, sort of five feet into it, um, it, it, it each, each, it's, it's like vibrating through your body. Does it feel bad? It just feels like, you know, going to a concert, but it's not affecting your hearing, though. Not evil, like being too close to a speaker. Yeah, yeah. But without the, the what, yeah, you know, that's sound waves, it's not sound waves, whatever's causing it, but it's the same effect. Can I just get both of you now just to do dexterity saving throws? 
That's Wolfrol and Starfire. Wolfrol, you f actually uh, kind of lose your feet and you fall pr prone and slip almost to the edge. It's almost as you've vibrated. You know how like you, they do those experiments where they're vibrating the surface of something and you drop something on it and it's like... That's exactly what Wolfrol's doing. She looks like she's part of an experiment. And you're, uh -huh. and you're vibrating. You, you now realise there's a slight, very slight slope down to the centre. And, um, yeah, you're vibrating towards the edge that's now 10 feet away from you. Well, okay. eight, 8 feet. I'm going to stay down and try to crawl back towards the door. Okay. You manage to, you can now crawl back, so you can move 5 feet. Maria, what are you doing? Um, oh, well, I was going to just see if Wolfrill needs a hand, but if she's okay, um, I, <coughs> I take it it didn't respond to whatever I asked it? Like when I said hello? Yeah, no, there was no response. I didn't hear there anything. There was no response. Okay, so um, Starfire is going to then see if it responds to... Um, a missile of sorts, but um, I'm just going to try and think of what it's called. It oh, actually, magic missile. No, I don't have magic missile. Um, I was just looking to see if I could do something like augury, something to try and figure out if this is going to have a good or a bad outcome. Um, on the icon of wave Ravenloft, but I'm just trying to say, see if I can do that. I need to use a divining tool, though. What's that thing you picked up? Is it a divining tool? Your new little friend? Um, no, I need to like roll some sticks or something or cards. <coughs> takes a minute too so you right. you've crawled okay. back um, five feet you can crawl back another five feet if you want yeah who had cards on them it wasn't me you can now basically you've the vibration is much less and you can perhaps try and stand if you want okay. to or you can stay crawling um, I might stay sitting for the time being just okay. sit and Starfire, can I get you to just do another dexterity saving throw, please? Sure. Um. You stumble a little bit, but you retain your feeding, your footing. Okay. I know it says to, um, hmm, to use dragon bones or something. Just wondering if Apparently I can there's like. There's dragon the bones down below. You could use. <laughs> I know. I know. I guess I won't be using augury then. <coughs> um, can I ask Irina behind me if she's heard of this, or does she remember it from her past experience of Ravenloft? She's uh, she's actually moved with um, uh, back to where Fisk is because they're just standing on the open bit. Just make them feel a little unnerving. And then seeing this whole red glow thing and everything um, across the rain and the thunder, she she can't really hear what you you're sort of saying, and she sort of gives you a you know what? <laughs> and she is she sort of saying you want me to come across? And she she um, is waiting for you to give some sort of response. Come on. So Irina moves across and. Um, and he comes in. And, Don't uh, go too far in. Yeah. Do you, a bit do you remember this thing, Irina, from when you were previously in Ravenloft? Your past memories? She says, no, I know of no such thing. I've never seen this before. What, what do you think it is? I don't know, but it threw me off my feet and dragged me towards <laughs> 
restless. And she goes, yes, I, it, there's some sort of vibration here. It's like, it, it's like, it's like a heart. Do you remember being in this tower before? Was I've, it? I've never been in this tower before. You must remember, <laughs> I've, I, uh, I've never been here before. It's just Tatana you think of. Everyone confuses me with Tatana. It's very frustrating. But you seem to remember some of her experiences. I've not been here. I've not been here. She gets a little stroppy at you. Sorry, sorry. And she takes mm -hmm. a step uh, step yeah. forward. And um, and is next to Starfire, looking up at, the, at it. Um... Dun, 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 dun. Is it just suspended in the air, or is it hanging from something? It's suspended. It's not hanging. Not that you can see from your perspective. Irina mm. sort of um, is, is a little mesmerised by it. And she sort of like... Mm. But then she quickly shakes it off and, and sort of steps back, and then she goes, I don't like it, and she runs back over to, um, to Fisk and stands next to Fisk. Good decision. Mm. Do you think we should try to go up? Could be a bit dodgy. I think we might have to park this one for Can now. I get a dexterity saving throw by both of you two now, please. I'm sure. still sitting. You're sitting, but you um, essentially have vibrated five feet towards towards it, the centre of the tower. I call out to Wolfrell that we should just get out of here. We're not going to figure this out right yeah. now. And it's too dangerous to go up the stairs. Yeah. Let's if we went it. under true side, like... I know. I like the thing. But... I was tempted to put an arrow up, but then I thought that might be considered breaking the truce, so... Yeah. I'm with you. Uh, and once I get out the door, then I'll stand up. Yeah. Okay, you all make it back across. And at that point, you guys have got two weeks to work out what you're going to do. Hmm. Yeah. It's a tough one, hey? It's a weird thing. Um. I'm glad we came back up here and did check that out, though. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe we'll be able to find someone in Barovia who knows what it is. Maybe Rectavo will know what it is, given he knows all this stuff about Strad. Maybe Rectavo will be able to help us. Mm. <clears throat> oh, Irina, charisma save. That's not looking good. What was that? Charisma save. Duncan did a charisma save for Irina. Uh oh. I know. Always concerning. Mm. Fisk must be chatting her up again. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> Does she fall for Fisk's wily ways? Mm. With a dagger up next to her. <laughs> Is, I think I asked this the first time I came up here, but is that something? Hang on, sorry. Um, yeah, no, that's just a wall, mm. basically. So I, I don't know why you see it weirdly. Let me have a look at my player version. Yeah, no, that's just lighting. It's just badly done. Yeah, it's the... Um, <coughs> it's the uh, way that they've done the um, the lighting. Yeah, they've like cut that off um, to do the lighting, so <coughs> you can't see out. Because um, you're on a map where there's other maps, as you could probably tell from the one over to the left. I've got like a series of tower maps on the one map, so they're basically they've just done it to box you in. So no, that is just uh, that is 100% a tower. <laughs> and what I'll do actually is I'll just do this. Um, so just grab Wolf Roll. And if I move you there, you can see on the other side of it now. Like that. Oh, yeah. 
and that'll, yeah. that should light it up now for you so you can yeah. see yeah ah oh, thanks yeah <coughs> all righty i'll stop the mm. video